Hi, good morning. Uh, well, actually, good afternoon. Happy Saturday. Um, welcome to the International Wealth Builders Association Radio Talk Show. I'm your host, Latoya Tillett, live on KCAA Broadcasting Network. I'm a member of the Black Inland Empire Real Estate Investment Club and also the Finest Women in Real Estate and I3 Social Network, uh, Social Club. Alrighty, so what do I do? Well, I am the broker owner of Tillett Realty Group, as well as CEO of Tax Plus Financial Services. My main mission and goal is to help my clients put together diverse portfolios that include commercial, residential, and international properties while maximizing their tax benefits. So speaking of the international properties, I am super excited to have my special guest here today. Her name is Chase Hunter. She was a, our grand prize winner of the Trey International 30-Day ISA Marketing Challenge. Now, ISA means International Sales Agent. So uh, what we did was have a challenge where you had to post for 30 days consecutively um, and, you know, just building up your consistency, consistency in your marketing. And let me tell you, this young lady blew me out the water. Like her videos were so fun, so engaging and very educational at the same time. So she has some really cool ones out. My favorite was the um, Uber driver and then the girl on the couch. That one was funny, too. <laughs> so without further ado, I want to welcome my special guest, Chase Hunter to KCAA Broadcasting Network. Welcome, Chase. How are you? I'm amazing, Latoya. Thanks so much for having me. I am so grateful. You are so welcome. So I was going to go through your bio, but hey, you're here live with me. So I'm going to let you tell the folks about yourself and what it is that you do. Well, currently, um, I wear a lot of hats. I do a lot of creative um, directing for a bunch of ministries and a bunch of businesses and media companies. Okay. I also am a brand new, like as of in the last 90 days, international um, sales agent. And okay. it's been amazing. I've been in real estate for the last two years okay. and it's just been an amazing journey tying everything together that I do. Right, right. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, like most of us women, we do wear many hats, you know, and I think we're don't a little you. bit better at multitasking, but don't tell the men I said that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. OK, so how has your real estate journey been like kind of what brought you to real estate? Um, it, It's a crazy story. Like I literally was just at dinner one day and I was having a conversation with a friend and she said, we live in Texas. And she said, mm -hmm. you know, I think I want to start investing in real estate and buy a couple of condos and, and rent them out. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so, yeah, just for the money. I was like, you can do that. You know, I <laughs> thought my extent of and knowledge of real estate was just being an agent. And I was mm -hmm. like, I don't want to sell anything. I don't want to do that. That's, you know, that's crazy. And so that was in 2017 and I okay. literally got to work. I started digging and trying to find all the information I could on investing. Then I found out that there were different ways to invest yes. and I kept coming back. I even did a search and um, Detroit kept coming up and mm -hmm. that's literally where I ended up buying all of my properties in oh. Detroit about two years ago. I just sight unseen. What? I was like, I have to take the lunge. I have to do it. And June 24th, 2021 is when I bought my first three doors and became nice. an investor. Nice. That's amazing. That's an amazing story. I think um, quite a few of us, I know I happened into real estate by accident um, myself. So <laughs> sometimes it just happens like that. Right. And then, you Absolutely. know, and if you've ever read the book, a hundred and uh, well, it was 99 ways to earn money in real estate without a real estate license, but now it's 114 or I believe 115. Now we're up to, so if you haven't had read that book, I know after being in the real estate industry, um, I think when I read the book at that time, I was in probably about 15, 16 years already as being a sales agent. But wow. after reading that book, it was like, wow, who knew you could do all of these things without even having a real estate license? Like, you know, I'm like, dang, did I waste my time? But I do enjoy exactly. helping other buyers and sellers, of course. So I do help them increase in their portfolios. But we have to work on ours as well, right? <laughs> exactly. And that was my main thing. Like, I need to own something. I want to leave yes. a legacy. I have to, you know, this ownership thing is we need that. 
Yes, yes, we do. So tell me a little bit more about Detroit, because I know for a couple of years I was hearing some good things. I knew a group that went down and bought like blocks at a time. So is it still hot out there for investing? It is still hot. Okay. Yes. Okay. It okay. is amazing. Like the one of the blocks, um, I ended up buying a block myself. Oh, nice. Was, okay. Yeah, it was only <laughs> four houses on the block, and then the rest they were um tearing down everything. And I got like one of the last standing on the block and I actually turned it into um it's a two family flat. I actually turned one into the bottom portion into my office and I live when I'm there. Oh okay. at, in the top That's smart. Half. But uh -huh. it is amazing. Like I, you know, I love being a landlord. You know, I have um seven tenants. Oh okay. Love them to pieces. I have a very niched um tenant so I okay. only work with single mothers right oh wow single mothers with children yeah and then I help them be able because on section eight they help the tenants buy the properties right okay so, so they I do that here them. too uh -huh. yeah and I work with also um some domestic violence programs so we partner up and they'll say hey you know can we have some that, to get on your wait list or can we, but my tenants, they don't want to leave. Once they get in, they're like, no, right. I want to be here. And I'm like, okay, we, we said it was a time limit, right? But, right, right. Um, they get in. And so I work with them so that they can be able to purchase because it's very important for me to know that children have a backyard. I didn't, I grew up without a backyard, Aww, right? So that uh -huh. is something like, I, I feel like children need a place to play and they need yes. a place to grow in their own rooms and things like that. So definitely, definitely. Um, I love the market. It's very hot. I teach other um, investors how to invest in Detroit because okay. it's very different. The market mm -hmm. is very different. So in my mentorship program and my coaching program, I teach them how to buy the right way. Wow, that is amazing. See, I'm getting to learn more and more about you. Like every time you open your mouth and have something to say, I learn more and more about you. So we're getting to that true core, that true passion of yours that you do. See, I didn't know that, you know, you had a niche tenant that you were working mm -hmm. with. So this is beautiful. This is so awesome to know. So how would one go about um, getting into your mentorship program if they want to invest in Detroit? Because I'm interested. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So I actually, I am opening that portion up in May. Okay. So um, when I do the call to action and you start seeing the videos, you start seeing the things coming yes. up, all the flyers and all the promos, that's when, and I'm, because I'm very, um, very hands-on mm -hmm. in the coaching program, like we're walking step-by-step, step. we're walking the deals, we're walking the properties, we're, we're walking everything hand in hand, right? Nice. And nice. so, um, I make sure that I'm I'm there and I'm available. So it starts in May okay. and it runs all the way through the summer because we, we don't we don't like cold places in Detroit. <laughs> not, Michigan gets, you know, they're in the middle of a little snowstorm right now. Right. So right. Stay away until it gets warm. <laughs> understandable, understandable. So um you would be able to work with like remote investors, like people from Cali, like myself, because I know a lot of our listeners are here in California, but because we're um, on the internet, they can listen anywhere. But, you know, speaking to our audience that we have right here locally. So this is something that they would be able to do with you as well, if they were interested. Absolutely. Okay. None of my, ever, no one that I've coached has ever lived in Michigan. They've oh, been okay. everywhere else but Michigan, which is so <laughs> strange because I'm like, I, you're right here. The people in Michigan, like you're right here with me. Right. Why not? It's, it's crazy to me, but they're like, no, nah, you got it. I don't <laughs> want to do it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's awesome. Well, I want you to hold that thought right there. We're going to go take a small commercial break and we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about what you got going on. Okay. Absolutely. All right. See y'all in two.